Okay, so in this video, I'm going to look at uh, solving quadratic equations by graphing. So imagine we have an equation that says x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, how could we solve that by graphing? What we would do first is we would work out an equation. So we replace the 0 with y, and that's why I'd say y is equal to x squared minus x minus 6, like that. And then I'm going to plot a line of this here on my graph paper. So I'm going to make a grid and I'm going to have x here and y here. And then I'm going to pick some values and substitute them in and work out what y is so I can make my graph. So I'm just going to start with some different values for x. So let's try, I don't know, minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, 4. And then I'll save that one in case we need anything else. So what I'm going to do is substitute these values into the equation here and then work out what y is. So for the first one, if I did minus 4 squared, minus 4 squared would give me 16. And then I need to do minus minus x, so minus minus 4. So let me just write this down. So for minus 4, it's going to be 16 and then minus minus 4 and then minus 6. So 16, so that would be plus 4 would be 20, and then minus 6 would give me 14. So if I rub that out, here would be 14. Then I can do negative 2. So negative 2 squared would be 4, and then minus minus 2 would give me 6, and then minus 6 would give me 0. Is that right? Okay, so then I put in 0. Now that would give me minus 6. Because the x squared would be 0 and the minus x would also be 0. Then when I put in the 2, I'd have 4. Take away 2 would give me 2. And then take away 6 would give me negative 4. Then when I did 4, I would have 16. Take away 4 would give me 12. And then take away 6 would give me 6. And then if I continued and I did 6 again, I would have 36 and then take away 6 and then take away another 6 would give me 24. Okay. So if I now plot those, so I'm going to have to plot here. So I've got my axes here, which I've labeled up. So I've got some quite big numbers for y here. So I think I'm going to need to go up in... Let's say, so if I do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, yeah, that should work. So let's say that's going to be 4, then 8, then 12, 16, 20, 24. And then in my x's, I can go along in much bigger increments. So let's say that's going to be minus 2, that could be minus 4, that can be minus 6, that can be 2. That can be 4. That can be 6. OK, so let me try and plot my grid now. So let's use yellow. So minus 4 and 14 is here. Then I've got minus 2 and 0, which is here. Then I've got 0 and minus 6, which would be, I haven't done the negative values, minus 4 here, minus 8 here. So I wanted 0 and minus 6, which would be here. Then I'd want 2 and minus 4, which would be here. And then I'd want 4 and 6, which would be here. And then I'd want 6 and 24, which would be here. OK, so what I want to do here is draw a curve in there. So I think I can draw one like that, and I can select it, and I should be able to curve it down. More or less like that. OK, that looks like that's, that's done OK. So that curve there, imagine it's continued off up there. It doesn't quite. Yeah, that's. I'm just going to leave that. Okay, so there's my curve there. <coughs> then what I want to do 
is in order to find the solutions, I would need to look for the points because this is equal to zero here. So this is my equation, y is equal to x squared minus x minus six. So that's my line, let me label that. y is equal to x squared minus x minus six, like that. And then the points where it intersects the x-axis are here and here. So because I want where this is equal to zero, I want the points, the solutions are going to be where y is zero. So where y is zero is on the x-axis here. So those two points of intersection. So I can see that is where x is negative two and where x is three. So the solutions, x is equal to negative two or x is equal to three, because that's where it's crossing my axes here. This is three, this is negative two. All right, so I could check that. So if x is negative two, I could substitute that into here. x was negative two gave me zero. And if I put in three, I should also hopefully get zero. So if I did three, I would have three squared would be nine. Take away three would give me six and take away six would indeed give me zero. Okay, so those are the correct solutions there. If I wanted to, I would also be able to use the equation. So say I wanted to solve x squared minus x minus 6 instead of equaling 0 was equal to say 7. So in this case I could use the same curve except instead of having it equal to 0, so instead of looking at where it intersected where y was 0, I could have it intersect where y would be 7. Well, this will be an approximation. If I can draw a straight line across here where y is equal to 7, which would be across there, like that, and the points where this one intersects will be here and here. So it would be this point here and this point here. So at that point there, x would be pretty much negative 3, and there it would be more or less, it would be like 4.2, something like that. Okay, so for these ones, I could use the same graph. x would be approximately negative 3 or x would be approximately, um, it's like 4.2. Okay, so instead of just using x equals to zero, I would be able to work it out there and work out where those points are. Now, I could also do variations on the theme. So say I wanted to solve x squared minus x, um, plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, now I can use the same graph because I've still got this x squared minus x here. What I can do is I can rearrange it so it's into this form here. So if I subtracted 10 from both sides, I would say x squared minus x minus 6 would equal negative 10. So now it would match up with what I had for my graph here, the x squared minus x equals 6. So what I'd look for now would be where that was equal to negative 10. So I can see negative 10, that would be negative 12 down here. So negative 10, y is equal to negative 10 would be down here, across there. And I can see there that there's no intersection between the yellow curve and the green line. So that means that this equation here would have no solution. All right, similarly, if I wanted to, I could try to solve, let me do another one, x squared minus x minus four is equal to zero. So in this case, to get it into the correct form, I would need to subtract two from both sides. So I'd say x squared minus x minus six would equal negative two. Now I've got the correct equation again, and it needs to equal minus two. So I draw my intersection line with negative two. What colour haven't I used yet? Purple. So negative 2 is along here. There. And now I can see my intersections are here and here. So this is x is equal to what, negative 1.6. Or that one there, which looks like 
six, something like that. Okay, so by drawing an equation or drawing a graph of the line, you can then work out various solutions to it by looking for the points of intersection on where your curve is. All right.